Hey, what's up guys? It's Toxic here, and today we're going to be talking about a very, very special item on Roblox that may seem to be completely unobtainable. Now, while this is not unobtainable in traditional terms, as in there are zero owners remaining, I, I think it's actually one of the first items that is so rare it could possibly be just straight up unobtainable. And, you know, it's a pretty rare sight to see something like that on the Roblox catalog because... You never really have items like that get that low in ownership where, you know, it's pretty much impossible to find an owner. For example, we have Lady of the Federation, which has the lowest owner count with only one showing up here. And I'm pretty sure I heard there was like two or three left in existence. So this is one of the rarest items on Roblox, right? But what if I told you there is actually an item that is even rarer to come across and is considered to be even more unobtainable? And that item, of course, is the Dark Assassin. Now, if you guys don't know what the Dark Assassin is, that, that's that's reasonable because, I mean, it's, it's a pretty interesting hat that not many people seem to know of. And as you can see, it's actually selling for 618 million Robux, which is quite a lot of Robux. Nobody's really going to uh, be buying it for that price, right? And you might be wondering, you know, it has 21 quantities sold and it has 12 original price. And if we click owners and take a quick glance, you can see there are quite a few owners still remaining. So what, what do I mean by this item seems to be unobtainable? You know, there, there's clearly a few owners. There's more than the lady, like the lady of the Federation. You can see there's a decent amount of owners, but we're, we're going to talk about that in a second. Okay, so this item, Dark Assassin, why, why don't we look at it on Rolomons? Because on Rolomons, we have a little bit more information about these owners than we would just looking at it through the owners list. And you can see right here, Dark Assassin, you can see it's worth 1.3 million of value, according to their thing, and it has terrible demand. And you can see that there's actually only four premium copies out there, compared to 11 available copies, which isn't really that rare. Lady of the Federation, like I said, has literally two or three. So what makes this more unobtainable than Lady of the Federation if it has so many more copies available? Well, as it turns out, um, this item was actually created eight years ago, something like that. It was created in like 2012, and back then, you could not have numerous items on one account. And so, if you take a look at some of the owners on of this item, you're going to see something very, very interesting. You're going to see Merely Dark Assassin 2, 3, 4, I think there's a 5, yeah, there's a 5, 6, 7. So, keep that in mind. We have merely dark assassin two to seven taking up number two three four five six and seven that means six of these copies are owned by merely on alternate accounts right and if we take a look over here you can see merely actually has two more on his accounts you can see one he he's owned for eight years and then there's one that he's owned for four years and other than that why don't we just sort it from like owned since so you can see he pretty much had um he had seven of his dark assassins pretty much you know, around the same time. He's been holding on to them for so many years, right? And nobody really knows if he's ever planning to trade these off. I mean, you can see how long he's owned these. It seems like they're going to stay on his account forever. So we're going to mark those as not for trade because realistically speaking, I doubt he's going to trade these off in any point in the future. And then we have Sickmaster Luke, which I don't believe he completes any trades anymore. I don't really know too much about that, but again, it's one of those situations where he's had it for seven years. So I'm not sure if he's even accepting any offers on this item. Then we have someone called Eversore who last signed in six months ago with the number one serial of the Dark Assassin. And I actually want to look at his profile real quick. No, there's absolutely no information regarding, you know, oh, hey, he's going to come back. He's just taking a break or something. It just doesn't have any information. And if we actually look at the group that he's in called Alternati, you're going to see that he's in a group called Alternati owned by someone called Modo Veeks. I, I hope I'm saying that right. And you can see that uh, this person named Modo Veeks um, is extremely rich. And I mean, based off that group name alone, I'm assuming that this is an alternate account of that guy. So yeah, that that's interesting. But this one, obviously, you know, it hasn't been in circulation in seven years. So this one might not actually be for trade either. Um, but let, let's just let's just assume that it's not because it's been sitting here for so long and last online six months ago, right? Well, what if I told you that if we go to the next page, it doesn't really show that great of a sign. 
You can see another one owned by Merely for, for the past four years, serial number three, and again, I don't know if he's ever going to trade any of these off because the item's probably going to plummet as soon as he trades them off anyway. And then we have deleted slash hidden, and all of these I'm pretty sure are deleted. None of them are hidden or anything. All of these are owners that got deleted owning them. So you can see, you know, the last trade that actually got completed with the Dark Assassin took place two years ago. I don't know exactly when two years ago, but it says two years ago. Let me see the UAID. It, it just said, oh, wait, right here. It says March 31st, 2018 was the last trade for this item. So we, we've gone so long without completing a single trade for this item, right? And you can see the only other owner that I didn't talk about is Son of Seven List, which is Shedletsky and... He hasn't, he hasn't signed in in three months ago. That's actually interesting. But, you know, he's owned it for three years. It just seems like everybody who owns this is either inactive or they're not giving it up. Because you already know Merely with his horde, he's not giving this up. There's literally no gain for him to give it up. Also, interesting how he was last online eight years ago, but he's owned it for seven years. That's, that's cool. But you can see everybody who's owned this either has had it for seven years and it's pretty clear that they're not getting rid of it or it's all deleted. So it just seems like this item is completely unobtainable. There is no way you could get this item unless you probably have to offer it to this guy ever, sir, if he ever comes back online. And even then, I don't even know what this would go for because I think he's the only person out of everybody who would be trading this. Because you can see, again, everybody who owns this is literally merely Stickmaster Luke, Shedletsky, or Eversor. So there's not that many owners that you could really be talking to here. And it just makes it, like... It is so interesting, and I always found this item to be so cool, but I wonder, what's going to happen to this item? Will this ever, you know, go up? Will it ever be recognized as unobtainable? Because right now it says demand terrible, but I'm not sure about that. I'm more than sure many people would jump to take this item at any value, but I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I, I don't know. But that's pretty much it for today's video. I just kind of wanted to talk about Dark Assassin because it's so cool how this is basically the first unobtainable limited ever as far as it seems. Because, again, it just seems like nobody's going to be trading this off anytime soon, if ever. Um, given that every owner is admin except for Shedletsky and Ever Eversur. Again, Eversur, we, we don't know what he's doing with that. And Son of Sevenless, he's probably not trading that either. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye.